Welcome. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you're either tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, then I just want to extend a warm welcome to you and let you know that our, that our purpose and our hope is to pray for you first and foremost, then just to share God's truth with you, and it's to create this into a community where you are known and loved. Well, friends, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about what bad food is. What bad food is. We're going to be in Romans Romans 6, verse 20 to 21. So if you have your Bibles, would you flip along to that passage with us? And if you're turning on your Bibles and flipping in there, let me open this up in a brief word of prayer. Let's pray. God, would you speak to us now by this passage? Show us what bad food looks like in our life and help us get rid of it, God, so we can glorify you in every area of our life. God, we love you, but would you help us love you more? Thank you, Lord. Amen. You guys ready? Romans 6, verse 20 through 21 says this. As long as you did what you felt like doing, ignoring God, you didn't have to bother with right thinking or right living or right anything for that matter. But do you call that a free life? What did you get out of it? Nothing. You're proud of now. Where did it get you? A dead end. Come on, friends. What is this talking about? This is talking about... It gets us... It's bad fruit. This is, it gets us a dead end results. The reason why we get end up in a dead end is because it results in bad fruit that we have inside of us. And what is bad fruit? You might be asking, what is it? Bad fruit is this. Selfishness, anger, shame, lust, self-loathing, insecurities, hopelessness, envy, anxiety, irritability, impulsivity. How do these bad fruits come? These bad fruits come from, could be food addictions, stealing, Gambling, addictions to addiction to alcohol or other substances, pornography, sexual sexual unfaithfulness, you name it. You list a sin. Doesn't matter what the sin is, these bad fruits are the same for any sin. And what does it lead you? Where did it get you? A dead end. If you're pursuing these bad fruits, it will get you into a dead end. Pursue good fruits. Joy, peace, patience, kindness. Pursue things that honor God. And it will get you to the place that you're looking to go to. That brings hope into your life. That brings peace. That brings joy. I pray that we would. I pray that we would, friends. You think it gets you a free life, it doesn't. It creates pain in your life, living the way you choose to, pursuing the fruit. I encourage you to take a step into what Jesus, what Jesus is calling you to today, into freedom, into holiness, into purity. God wants you. God is calling you to himself. I'm going to close this video out differently today. I just feel like just praying for you, no matter where you're at in your faith, whether you're a Christian, whether you've been a Christian for 20, 30 years, 2 years, 20 days, 10 days, I don't know. Maybe you've never placed your faith in Christ. I want to encourage you to do that. Maybe you were a Christian but have walked away from Christ. I want to encourage you to come back to Christ. I just want to pray for you. No matter which categories you fall into, I just want to pray for you. This is a hefty topic. Um, we, we think we live in a world that gratifies the flesh more, um, gratifies the desires of the flesh when we should be gratifying the desires of what God wants. We should, our desires should be matched up with God's desires for us. Amen? Let me pray for us. Let's bow our heads and let's close our eyes. Father God, I just pray for people watching this video, Lord. God, you know where they are. You know what decision they need to make today. Because Lord, 
we should not leave this video the same. We should leave this video changed by you, by the Holy Spirit, by the work of you, God. So would you help us leave the same, Lord, from this video? Lord God, I believe that people are going to be placing their faith in you today So, if they, for the first time. So if they need to, Lord, I pray that they would do that right now, that they would say, God, I'm a sinner and I'm in need of you. God, I cannot do this life without you. I've been trying to, but Lord, it has been giving, getting me nowhere. I pray that they would place their faith in you right now, Lord. Lord, and if they need to come back to you, Lord, I pray that they would do that as well. God, you're calling them back to you. Lord, I pray just for the person that's been following you for a long time, that they would continue to go deeper into your presence, learn more about you every day, and not grow weary in doing good. Put up the f good fight, Lord. Lord, I pray this in your name. Amen. Well, friends, if you guys just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, or we committed your life to Christ today, or if I just prayed over you, then I just want to say we rejoice with you. As heaven rejoices, so do we. We rejoice with you. Um, yeah, we rejoice with you. Um, I encourage you to reach out to one of us, me, or one of us, if you just prayed this prayer, um, prayed one of these prayers, because we don't, we don't want to mock you at all, we don't want, want to press you, all we just want to do is be praying for you first and foremost, and give you next steps and next resources to take on, this is a very important decision that you made today. Well friends, do you mind if I bless you today, with the living word of God, with the, uh, with God's blessing, Will you put your hand up to receive the blessing of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, and may you never forget to choose the fruit of life, the fruit of the Holy Spirit that leads not to a dead end, that leads to purity, that leads to holiness, that leads to the things of God. I pray that we would. Amen. Amen. Well, if you guys were encouraged by this video, and you guys feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by this topic, would you please do me a favor? Click on that share button and share this hope with someone. Share this good news, good news with someone. If you guys just need prayer for your life or hope, never hesitate to reach out to me. One of our team members, we would love to be praying for you, love to just talk to you, answer any questions you have. And until next time, have a very blessed day, and keep Christ number one. Much love, y'all. God bless you.